once again, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. Together with the First Lady, Luis Araneta Marcos. Now to introduce our guest of honor and speaker. May we call on retired Chief Justice and Executive Secretary, Lucas Bersamin. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Thank you to our ESP uh, for your kind introduction. We have here uh, all the luminaries uh, in government, all the leadership of government is practically here. Uh, then, of course, by the Senate President, our Senate President speaks really. The, and, of course, uh, the proponent of uh, this uh, very ambitious but uh, certainly worthwhile project the, the Sud uh, Secretary, Secretary Jerry Akusar, all the cabinet secretaries that are here, the members of the Philippine Senate that are present with us today. Magaling to si Jerry, talagang kinuha niya lahat ng kailangan niya. Nandito lahat, na-offer kayo ka. Metropolitan Manila Development Authority, Chairman Romando Artes, uh, the uh, City Mayor of uh, Manila, uh, Manila, uh, Manila Mayor Maria Sheila Lacuna Pangan. Andito rin po ang ating kaibigan na dating Senate President, uh, Senate President Manny Villar. At siyempre, hindi makumpleto, daling lalo na dito sa proyektong ating uh, binubuksan ngayon, ang ating First Lady, First Lady uh, Luz. Uh, My fellow workers in government, all our distinguished guests, our partners in the private sector, without whom we could not have put this uh, project together, at least not in the scale that we would have liked to. And, but their assistance and their continuing generosity and love of country has shown once again in that they have become active participants in what we are going to do uh, with the Pasig River uh, Development Project. The uh, my fellow workers in government, all our distinguished guests, and I have to say, there are many distinguished guests with, uh, with us here this, uh, this evening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. No river in our country holds as great a cultural and historical significance as Pasig River. Its flow has not only shaped the, con the contours of our nation's capital, but the economic landscape of a booming metropolis as well. As a country's first nautical expressway, it brought people together and their produce to its tributaries along whose banks settlements grew and prospered. It is a witness to the ebb and flow of our history, transporting heroes during the birth of the Republic, the courage of patriots whose spirit was never broken in the watery dungeons of Fort Santiago. After the end of the country's colonial period, the symbol of executive power was housed along its banks. For a river that has given us so much, we have given by too little. Our stewardship of this national asset leaves much to be desired. A national deficit which we have never properly erased. I am personally a witness to this. Isa po akong anak ng Pasig. Bago po ako'y pumasok sa larangan ng servisyo publika, nandiyan ang Bongbong Marcos na Batang Pasig. I grew up by the Pasig River. Today, I work by the Pasig River. I live by the Pasig River. I shuttle between the two, my workplace and my residence, by boat through the Pasig River. So when it comes to knowing the state of Pasig River, I do not merely rely on statistics reported but by sight and smell <laughs> on my morning and evening commutes. Mga kaibigan ko, hindi tayo rito 
para ay mapag-usapan. We do not, we're not here to wax uh, nostalgic to the past or wax poetic of the beauty that it once was. Rather, we are here to blaze a path forward for this national asset. We are here to reject the defeatist view that the Pasig River is beyond redemption. We are here to consecrate ourselves to the mission of transforming Pasig River to what it is supposed to be. A living river of multiple benefits for the multitude, featuring safe walkways and bikeways along its banks, a green corridor that will serve as lungs for our city's needs, a string of parks for communities nearby. Along that 25 kilometer stretch will judiciously sprout commercial, commercial enterprises run by the best stewards and the strongest stakeholders of the river's development, the people themselves. We envision civic spaces where our children will play, our seniors will relax, families will exercise, artists can showcase their talents, and the creative can display their wares. We want it to be a permanent exhibit area of green technology that works from solar lights to rain harvesting facilities, sustainable practices like urban gardens. We will also maximize this ready to use but underutilized maritime highway by deploying more ferry boats and stations because if you build them, the riders will come. The transformation we would like to see in Pasig River are not cosmetic in nature. We will not paper over the river's fundamental problems, nor whitewash its crime while leaving the old and rotten still there. We do not want a river that is instantly made picturesque by coats of paint. We want a river whose transformation sinks to its very bottom. This begins by cleaning up the river and some solutions are found upstream because waste disposed far from the Pasig River end up in the Pasig River, funneled through waterways which have become the source. As the threat of climate change looms, we must save the poor and vulnerable living along its banks from the ravages of frequent and fiercer typhoons by transferring them to better homes which they deserve. Make no mistake about it. It will be a people-centered and community-driven development with ideas crowdsourced from experts and carried out with political will. We may never restore the river back to its pre-colonial pristine condition, but we can revive it to serve the present while preserving it for the future. We can stop, we can stop it from being a petri dish of toxins and make it instead an incubator of progress and of best environmental practices. In some ways, the fate of the Pasig River mirrors that of our country and of our people. Both contain much untapped potential. Both put forward persistently, despite years of neglect. That is why we have set into operation the Pasig Pikyam Buhay Muli. It is not a rebranding of the old, but revving up of new and fresh ideas. Through Executive Order 35, the Interagency Council for the Pasig River Urban Development has been established and has been activated, with both the DISUD and the MMDA tasked to be at the helm. Kasama sa kanilang mandato, ang abot kayang pabahay para doon sa mga nag-aal sa paluta na tuwing may nagbabadyang pagyo. Kaya inumutos ko, by Secretary Jerry Akusa ng Disud, ang pabahay na tumutugon sa lahat ng antas ng pinansyal ng kakayahan. Gagawin natin ito sa pagkatama lang na kung sino ang malapit sa ilog ang siyang unang dapat mabibiyaan. Narito po tayo ngayon sa kilometer zero ng ating paglalakbay para makamtan natin ang minimiting buhay at masiglang ilog ng Pasko. Hindi po ito ni Ngaskugon na kampanya o flavor of the month lang. This will be pursued relentlessly. Kaya ano ba naman ang bago nito? Tutukan ninyo at ang inyong Pangulo at siyempre ang talagang lead proponent nito ang ating first lady. There will be scheduled milestones that will be strictly met from government agencies who are under orders to submit progress reports. 
the local government units along Pasig River to MMDA, DILG, to the Sioux. I, has, I asked for a quarterly and yearly report submitted to my office because I want to see this prototype of redevelopment of Pasig River right here, right now, produced in sustainable speed and sustainable focus up to its final and logical conclusion. I have been advised that uh, I should be cautious from linking, I should be cautious about linking the fate of this river to my political fortune that I refrain from upholding as an icon of Bagong Pilipinas tribe this project that we are opening today. Because it could be dangerous. It could be a dangerous barometer should this project fail. But I will not be deterred from placing a bet on this endeavor because the presidency is about attaining the grant and not wasting mandates on betting. Kagaya ng laging pinapakalala sa atin, ang ating uh, putihing uh, uh, kalihim ng bisud, go big or go home. <laughs> so, you may expect, you do not expect any half-hearted commitments, not from this president. In everything I do, I am all fully in. Meron din po kasi tayong in-house advocate ng Pasig River sa aming pamilya, ang ating First Lady. She has been a passionate champion of this river survival who has been quietly doing the spade work as is her way on this project. Her interest has been sparked as a citizen who has, them, who has the river as the front yard and backyard of her present home. Alam ko naman na mahabang pakikipaka ito. Mahabang panahon ang kinakailangan ilaan dito. Decades of neglect cannot be undone in months. Kaya naman, hindi namin ginagawa ito para sa kapakanan ng kasalukuyang administrasyon. Ito po ay para sa susunod ng mga henerasyon na harinawa ang proyekto ating may iwan ay siyang epimolika ay ehemplo ng ating sundan at kapag nangyari yan ang anak ng Pasig na ito ay lilisan na may baong ngiti at saya dahil ang ilog ng ating kapataan ay mas, mas salain ang nasusunod sa salindahin ng taglay ng pagbabago. Mga kababayan, ang panimula ng pagbabago sa bahaging ito ng ilog Pasig ay bahagi ng itinatatag nating bagong Pilipinas. May kaayusan at kanilisan may kaginhawaan at kasaganahan paparating para sa lahat. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat at sa uh, pagbuhay ang ating pagbuhay proyekto na inaayos at inibinas at pinapaganda ang ating minamahal na Pasig River. Maraming salamat, Presidente Ferdinand Marcus Jr. Muli natin pasalubungan ng palakpak ang ating Pangulo. At this juncture, may we request the President to remain on stage. May we also invite on stage First Lady Luis Araneta Marcos, DHSUD, Secretary Jerry Acusad, MMDA Chairman Romando Artes, and DILG Secretary Benhur Avalos. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to witness the ceremonial pressing of the podium switch to officially launch the showcase area. At the count of three, Mr. President, ang passing, sama-sama natin bigyang buhay muli in three, two, one.
the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., and the First Lady, Luis Araneta Marcos. May we request everyone to please remain in place as the President leads the Pasig River experience. Thank you. So, sasakay ng uh, bangka si President. Bigyang buhay ang Pasig River. So, namura dito sa First Lady Lisa at uh, mababagaan na yung going from Manila to ano, uh, Makati, Kainta, pwede na kung ano pag natapos yung project ko ito. So, grabe yung ilaw. No? Uh, Masyala na rin kasi ito mga kabayan. Pwede rin po kayo mamasyal dito sa likod no, ng post office building. Actually, pahaba ito hanggang ano to, so dito lang nag-umpisa no, hanggang kainta pabaybay po ang ilong pasig magiging pasyala na po at uh, at the same time uh, sa ngayon libre pa po yung uh, peribot mga kabayan yung papunta ng ano no? so libre ang um, sakay no, simula nung umpisang president hanggang ngayon nagpapatuloy yung free no? wala pang bayan no? at uh, Mr. Thomas, good evening to Sab Dan Rover, God bless time to work update ingat sa Biyaya France happy new year, happy new year no? at uh, Ate Ani si Pon na support natin mga kabayan si Ate Ani no? at uh, Melanie Dino Santos 